don't want to live in this world anymore. Oh, well, that didn't work. Maybe hanging myself? Oh, hi there, guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we went down 50 trials in the pit of 100 trials to get ourselves a strange sack which lets us hold 20 items. I would show it to you, but it's not really a tangible item. Oh, yeah, it is. I take that back. It's a sack inside of our sack. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but there it is. And we also got our name written on our ass, so we can head straight into that one place, uh... Twilight Town, that's the name of it. dum da 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 do Every day's a lucky day with happy lucky lottery. Glad to see you again, what can I do for you? Oh, that's right, I don't want to talk to him. Why do I keep doing that? Happy lucky lottery board. What do you get? Today's winning number is not mine. What a shocker. Sorry, it's still a lucky day. No matches today, but every day brings a new chance. We'll try again, okay? Here's the consolation prize. You got a mushroom! I'll probably use it sometime in the LP. But, you know, it's not extremely likely. Alright, the only way to get to uh, Twilight Town is to fall through there. And then you gotta get on your Yoshi- Oh god, I screwed that up! Oh, wait a minute. I got this. I, I can fix this. I can make this right. Just in case you actually screw up that jump. They're nice enough to put that pipe right there, which sends you straight back up to the area we were just in right here. <clears throat> oh, man. I feel super coffee. My throat has been feeling super dry lately, but somehow I'm hoping that I'll be able to record this without going completely insane trying to do voices. But this pipe is the Twilight Town, and we tried to get go in it last time, but we need to have our name on something. This time, it'll actually work. This place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey... It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come up from far away? Yeah, those clothes of yours... I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. But wait, you're adventurers. Maybe it's just the perfect time. Wait, what a bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Oh, gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear, and scary to tell, too. Oh no, the bell rang again. Oh, this is awful. Who could it be now? Oh god, he's a pig! Oink, oink, oink! Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen! What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, badness. Now poor Freddy got turned into a pig. Not good. Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dower. By the way, in case you don't know what that word means, it means very sad and gloomy. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for the telling of tales, sadly. Come to my house. So quite odd, we arrive here, then there's a whole bunch of gloomy people. And he's randomly turned into a pig, as a bell tolls. But we'll find more about this in a couple seconds here. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing. And nothing ba bad happens here. As you may have guessed, our town is cursed. Whoa, cursed! That's what he just said, Piccolo! Yes, cursed. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see... Beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building, the Creepy Steeple. The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the Twilighters living in the town becomes a pig. Well, that's just great. Will my loved ones become swine? 
Will I too become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you two get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a starship rock called a crystal star. Uh, I don't know anything about a crystal star thing, but maybe it's in Creepy Steeple. There's a glittery red stone shaped like a star there. Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be! Uh, you people aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? Brrrr, unthinkable. Ah, oh, wonderful. God damn, that voice, uh, in order to get that fairly okayly, the goddamn emo voice, I have to sound super quiet, so I'm figuring there's going to be tons of buzzing during that part, because I'm going to be increasing the audio, but I should probably not worry about this. In case you're wondering if you look at these people, smoink blank, boink, crunk blank, you may be wondering, what the hell do these three pigs have to do with anything? That's actually the three traveling sisters that we saw, uh, I believe, in Glitz Pits and, uh, or Glitz Pit and, uh, something else. We saw them in, uh, Petalburg. But yeah, here they are just pigs, and it's kind of funny. Anyways, let's talk to this gatekeeper, because we gotta go to Creepy Steeple. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious, that's what somebody said. If you still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, that old monster beyond the gown gate thing. Isn't that kind of cliched? Oh, cliched. I screwed up on the word. You gotta be kidding me. Fine, let's go ask. Alright, well, let's go back and ask the mayor. Because he seemed like a downright dandy person. Oh, God. Whoa, the bell rang. Mario, doesn't that mean somebody's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched it wasn't my turn to get pigified. Although, although you kind of look like a pig already, Piccolo. Although I know you're a Namekian, but... Uh, which one was the mayor's house? I want to say it was this one. This mayor's house. Uh, where's the mayor? Whoa, this ain't good. Don't you think this pig is the mayor? What are we gonna do now? We need that dude's okay to pass through the gate. Uh, crap. Maybe we can use my persuasive mustache to get past that gate. I don't know, though. It's kind of risky. I know my mustache is awfully sexy, but I'm not sure if it's good enough to get us past this gate. What? The mayor's a pig? I don't know. What do we do? Govern ourselves? Well, there's just no way I can let you through now. It's martial law time. Just forget about it. Uh, well, guess we're gonna have to turn back and let the world end. Got nothing else to do. Just gonna head back and, you know, get in the war piper. Get in the war piper. Come on, game! Oh god, no, I didn't mean to go in the war piper! Damn it, I was trying to trying to cue the game because something was supposed to happen there and I kind of just walked out of the level. I was hinting that you should do something game, not make me walk out of the level. Well, maybe if we just walk around randomly. We... Maybe if we talk to everybody. Hey, how you doing? You're a pig. There's a bed here. Uh, I don't really want to sleep in here. I figure we don't have to talk again to that guy. Maybe we do have to talk to everybody in order to find out about this. Nobody here is really that interesting. Everybody's just kind of dark and gloomy. And I kind of like this chapter. Everybody here is so dark and gloomy, and it's pretty cool. It's just really nice atmosphere, really cool art style, and it actually has one of my favorite characters in this entire game. Probably my favorite villain is the monster. And this poor woman can't feed her family, I guess. Oh, of course. I'll share uh, a tasty tonic with you. Tasty tonic? You can have this tasty tonic. I don't think that's edible? How is that not edible? Here, you can have my slow shroom. You don't think that's freaking edible? God damn, is this mushroom? She gave us a shooting star. Not horrible. Oh. Oh, that's that's depressing. I've never seen that before. I've never actually walked in there. I've I've seen that family, but I swear there's a different room in there when you go in there. Maybe I'm gonna get confused with this. No. 
Something like this. That looks awfully suspicious, that chimney for a power that we're going to be getting here soon. Is this a shop? Oh, a customer. We're not open right now. Huh? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig. He was already a pig beforehand. He was cheating on me. But I think he, she just said chauvinist. That's kind of funny. Maybe Nintendo has a dark side uh, of humor here. I don't know. Well, I think we've talked to everybody in the town, so... Let's see if this event will freaking happen. Oh! The bell went off again. And now the gatekeeper is a pig! Whoa, the gate guy's gone! Oops, nope, not gone. The stubborn dude's a pig. Well, that's actually pretty sweet for us. No pig is gonna get in our way. Well then, that means we can just open this gate by ourselves, and without permission, walk off into the wild. If we go ahead in the shed, there's a black key, which will be useful in a very tiny amount of town. Town time. If we head over here, uh, these enemies are actually fairly challenging at parts. They're Goombas, but they're Hyper Goombas. Pretty much just stronger and they can charge up. I believe if you ground pound, it's an instant kill. In fact, there we go. He's dead. This guy's holding a boo... <sighs> boo cape? I forgot what they're called in this game. Ah, oh, that feels so retarded. It's a boo item, pretty much. It just makes you invisible for a turn so people won't be able to hurt you. So I'm just gonna take him out so we can't use it. Oh god, I swear if I hit Bingo that one time. The bright side about these guys is that when they charge, they won't attack, which is pretty good. But if they do land an attack on you after charging, you're pretty much screwed. And for some reason, they only drop one XP apiece, which is kind of unfortunate, because I want to level up faster, but, you know, whatever. It could be worse. It could drop one HP for all of them. Or XP. HP. I'm actually kind of low on health here from a uh, pit of 100 trials. I should fix that, probably. Let me see. I think there's something you can get from randomly jumping around here. I'm actually going to take... Yeah, see, there's the... There's, there's a strange second action. Um, I think I'm actually just going to take a regular mushroom. I'll save that super shroom for a time I actually really need it. Let's see, anything here? No? Hmm. Alright, well, here's an item at least. One coin. And a super shroom! Thanks, game. I think I ground pounded on that guy. It looks like I hit him in, with my head, but... You know, headbutt wouldn't be too effective. This isn't Pokemon. Paragoomers are actually easier to dodge, I think, so... I'm gonna leave that one guy living. Although he'll probably charge this turn. Because that's what these guys typically do. And we'll get into some harder enemies in the future here, in this chapter. That damage dodge is pretty nice, that damage dodge badge we have. That If you land the thing, it does two defense rather than, uh, than one. That one badge we have. Because with these guys, especially in combination with Zap Tap, you can just dodge and somebody will take one damage, therefore you don't have to press the B button. But if there's really powerful enemies and you know you can hit the B button, uh, just to make sure you don't take any damage, I'll be my guest. And we got a spiky Hyper Goomba. And I know one thing I'm just really going to bring up that a lot of people do in uh, Paper Mario TTY DLPs is that they'll tattle on everybody. Well, that's not typically something I like to do. I don't really see too much of a purpose in it. I'll probably just get a peekaboo badge which shows their health later. And I've never really read all the descriptions anyways. But yeah, I don't really see the point in doing all tattle logs. Ooh, they both charge up here. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Oh, wow, this is unfortunate. Um, I guess the only... Oh, god damn, I don't have any good strategy for this. Uh, let's see. I'll have Piccolo go up front and have him defend. And actually, I'm just gonna use Sweet Treat here, because I could use a little bit of health and quite a bit of flower power here. Ooh, be careful not to hit those. Um, and Piccolo needs some health, too, so might as well get some Piccolo. Have some MP. Oh, god, I almost hit that one, too. I figure if I just keep pressing it for now, it should be fine. That's not bad. Oh, god. Oh, god. Yeah, that was certainly useful. 
Actually, I'm gonna have Piccolo appeal here, and I'm just gonna use the Super Hammer now that we have this flower power back. God damn, I hate to get hit by a charge person. Wait, he's still alive? Oh, crap balls. Crap baskets. I'm gonna have to use that uh, Super Shroom here. Let me just grab this money first. Hopefully not screwing myself over by doing that. This chapter is probably the hardest chapter by far, except for the boss. The boss is really easy. But a lot of the enemies here, and mainly the situation, there's one situation that I have trouble with in this chapter that ugh, I've actually died a couple times on. Hopefully I won't do that in this recording. I mean, I consider myself fairly good at fighting in this game, but god damn, there's, there's one part that is just super hard for me. And I don't know why, a lot of people I know have ease with it. We see here, there's just some pig out here, I don't know what he's supposed to be doing. But there's a key over there, we can't get over there unless we use Koops! So let's just go ahead and grab that, and that's the shop key, so now we can unlock that shop thing that that woman was crying about earlier. And I think as soon as we get back to town, we're gonna end the episode here, because I don't want to go on for too long. I don't care for long episodes, which is kind of odd, considering I complained when I couldn't go over 15 minutes and 30 seconds. But then again, that would cause abrupt endings and whatnot, so... Yeah, I gotta defend myself. So I guess we'll just end out here in the next part. We'll give this woman her key, and we'll find out what's past that one area that we were just in. So I'll see you guys then.